Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. First up, Zipline expands its drone delivery services into Texas. We have NASA developing a new system that's designed to predict drone hazards before they even happen. We also have Pierce Aerospace deploying new detectors at the US border. And then lastly, Brink raises $75 million. Let's get to it. And first up this week, Zipline is bringing its drone delivery services into the Dallas area, uh, starting in Mesquite, Texas. Now, this expansion comes through a partnership with the retail giant Walmart. Uh, we've talked about this partnership with other providers in the past, but here, customers in the service areas can now sign up to get orders, and they're going to be delivered in 30 minutes. And they're going to be using the new drone from Zipline, which is called a P2Zip. Now, the drone can carry payloads of up to 8 pounds within a 10-mile radius. Zipline boasts about their precision, claiming that they can have a dinner plate level of accuracy, meaning that they can land a package in a space as small as a doorstep or even a small table. Now, the P2Zip uses both lift and cruise propellers and has a fixed wing design, which makes it much more quieter and it also helps to handle gusts of wind up to 45 miles per hour, even in the rain. Now, the delivery process is actually kind of interesting. The, the P2Zip hovers at about 300 feet up on top of the target and then it lowers a smaller container that they call the delivery zip and it's on a tether. Now that smaller unit has a fan-like thruster that helps maneuver the uh, unit precisely into place before it gently sets the package down on that area. Now both parts use the camera sensors and then Nvidia chips in order to navigate and avoid any obstacles. Walmart mentioned that they've already completed over 120,000 drone deliveries since they started with Zipline and then other partners back in 2021. Zipline itself has logged over 100 million autonomous flight miles and completed around 1.5 million deliveries globally since 2016, uh, significantly more than any of the other competitors out there like Wing. Uh, it's also worth noting that Zipline builds its own drones here in the United States in the uh, area south of San Francisco. Now this partnership highlights the continued growth and the potential scaling of drone delivery in the future, even though um, I'm still not a believer, but... Uh, next up, we have NASA uh, working on making drone flights even safer using an advanced software system that is designed to predict potential hazards before they actually happen. Now, it's called the In-Time Aviation Safety Management System, or IASMS for short. I don't know if that's easy to say. I'm something, whatever. <laughs> uh, the main idea behind this is real-time risk assessment. Now, instead of just reacting when something goes wrong, like loss of navigation, navigation or loss of communication, the system aims to anticipate these kinds of threats and then alerts the operator ahead of time. Michael Vinson from the NASA Langley Research Center puts it simply, saying that the system ideally works unnoticed in the background, only intervening right before an unusual situation might arise. Now, NASA has been putting uh, the system through its spaces. Back in March, they ran an extensive simulation at the Ames Research Center, and then they focused on complex scenarios like hurricane relief missions involving multiple drones flying at the same time, doing things like beyond visual line of sight flying and uh, doing drops and inspections. Now, the long-term vision here is that this system will work alongside the NASA's Unmanned Aircraft System Traffic Management, or UTM. Now, this could be a key step in uh, making sure that routine drone flights in more populated urban and suburban areas uh, work much better than they do right now, uh, hopefully building public confidence in drone safety and reliability. Now, of course, widespread use will also depend on proving how effective it actually is and having the necessary communication infrastructure in place for it to work. Next up, Pierce Aerospace just announced a partnership with a company called Skylark Labs, bringing some uh, next level detection tech to the US-Mexico border and then also potentially in other areas. Now, basically what they've done is they put the uh, Pierce YR1 remote ID sensor and other drone detection sensors on top of a 100 foot scout tower that is made by Skylark uh, alongside this technology with what's called super intelligence AI. Now, I don't know, 
I don't know about that term. Let's just put it that way. Uh, what makes this setup special here is that the AI actually learns in real time from the data that it collects in the field, rather than relying on pre-programmed stuff that might be outdated. Now, the system also can detect, track, and identify drones and other potential threats, giving border security and law enforcement officers a much better picture of what is happening both in the air and on the ground. The CEO of Pierce Aerospace, Aaron Pierce, called it a big step forward, and the CEO of Skylark, uh, Amarjot Singh, said that they're redefining a real-time border security. And we'll keep you posted if we hear more from this. And then last up, kind of a big news, uh, Seattle-based drone manufacturer Brink has secured $75 million in new funding and then announced a strategic alliance with Motorola Solutions. Now, the alliance integrates the Brink drones into the Motorola's ecosystem, uh, including the APX radios, the Vesta 911 cold management system, the computer-aided dispatch, and then the real-time crime center software. Uh, if you're familiar with all these terms, they're all acronyms somewhere. Uh, this means that the the drones could actually get dispatched automatically when something happens. And that's it for this one. Uh, join us later for happy hour in the community. Uh, we're also back on the Monday Night Live after a three week hiatus due to the move and also to travel. Uh, Post Flight is also back on Monday in the premium community as well. And we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.